seconds. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think it's your lucky day. What a day we are having yeah. here, isn't it? Right? I mean, listen, I, as a former director of emergency management, I know a disaster when I see one. <laughs> I mean, by the way, you don't, don't, you don't believe me, just, just ask Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon, your guy, just went on and said, you know, perhaps... Who's guy, Steve Bannon? Yeah, well, you, you know who Steve Bannon is. Uh, perhaps, Steve Bannon just went on and said, perhaps the Republicans shouldn't have started with a witness, that he was talking about Professor Turley, who was going to say right off the bat that there wasn't an impeachable offense. He's, he, I quote, he says, perhaps we should have put him on the maybe list for one of our witnesses. Hmm. So your other witness, Ms. O'Connor, gave a complete recitation of the last nine months, eight months of these hearings, she went through some of the greatest hits that have come out, right? Everything that has been presented, you know, both in these committees that we've been having, on TV, all of the evidence that you guys have been presenting over the last eight months, all of that together. And what does Professor Turley say? It says everything we know at this juncture doesn't rise to the level of impeachment. Boy, that is awkward. I mean, I, look, I, it's like political impeachment malpractice. But look, let's, let's go back at some of the previous comments that my colleagues have given. So the chairman, and I have a slide, the chairman goes on Hannity, right? You guys all know Sean, you, you, you appear with him on Fox News all the time, right? And Hannity asks a softball question, right? This is a total softball. Do you believe that this is now officially the Joe Biden bribery allegation? And do you believe you will be able to prove it? The chairman should have just said yes, but nope, he says hope so, because he doesn't have any evidence, couldn't say yes, right? Next slide, please. Then we, have, then we have Senator Grassley. Grassley says what we all know out loud. We aren't interested in whether or not the accusations against Vice President Biden are accurate. Chuck, we know. We know you're not interested in, in the truth. Next slide, please. And then Donald Trump, you know, he's giving it all away. We know he doesn't, he likes to show his cards. He says... I think had they not done it to me, perhaps you wouldn't have it being done to them. And this is going to happen with indictments, too. So, you know, Donald Trump, the tough guy, right? He, what is he saying? He's teaching the lesson we all teach our kids, right? If they do it to you, go do it back. So look, you know, look, we're all appearing now in the world's worst acted TV drama, right? It's been picked up for a second season, the real House Republicans of oversight. You know, perhaps the material is so bad due to the writer's strike. Uh, I, I mean, how many Republicans, Freedom Caucus members, part of the Chaos Caucus, have said there's no evidence to impeach Joe Biden? Uh, and again, of course, we know it's not about the evidence. Why? Here is a list of all of the articles of impeachment that have been filed by my colleagues, some that are on this committee. When was the first article filed? It was filed in January of 21, two weeks after January 6th. So before we had a single hearing, before they went through this myriad of fishing, they were filing articles of impeachment. Pr Professor Turley, you said this doesn't rise to the level of impeachment, and you said they shouldn't prejudge. Well, here's a list right here of every single member, many on this committee, prejudging. They're filing articles of impeachment. COVID, Afghanistan, Hunter Biden. And they're all one-upping each other in the Donald Trump Friend Olympics, trying to get invited to the sleepover at Merrill Largo. Oh, I filed articles of impeachment against Merrick Garland. No, I filed articles of impeachment against Kamala Harris. Okay? It's, it is ridiculous. But this is what this is about. Let me show you. It's a simple board, right? So all other presidents in the United States, 50% of the impeachments. Donald Trump, the other 50. Donald Trump has half of the impeachments in American history. But you know what? He's got 100% of the indictments. 100% of all indictments. Zero for the other presidents. Listen, I, let me do it another way. I want to channel my inner Tim Russert. So let me go to the board, right? And I don't have Florida, Florida. But Donald Trump, impeachments. Oh, how many impeachments? We got two there. How many indictments? We got four. How many for Biden? Zero, zero. Donald Trump is right. I'm, he's sick of winning. He's just winning, running away with it. And that's why we're here. We're here because of math. That's what this is about. They can't save Donald Trump. They can't take away the two impeachments and the four indictments. But they can try to put some numbers on the board for Joe Biden. But the problem is when you sling mud, you got to have mud. And they just don't have anything, Mr. Chairman. So look, I, 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 we get it. 
We know why we're here. That's why they say the Biden family, the Bidens, James Biden, Joe Biden's dog commander, but, but not Joe Biden, never Joe Biden. So when are you gonna have the vote on impeachment, Mr. Chairman? What are you scared of? Call the vote, come on. If you all think there's so much evidence, we're here, call the vote on impeachment. Impeach him right now, I dare you.